In this video, I want to talk about the tryptophan operon in prokaryotes. The tryptophan operon is a repressible operon, a repressible system. Repressible means you can turn it off, so normally it's on and it can be turned off or repressed. So what is this tryptophan operon involved in? Well, tryptophan is an amino acid, and this operon is involved in making these structural genes that are involved in making tryptophan. So they make the amino acid. Now, normally, it's on, okay? But now, the, the regulatory gene of the tryptophan operon, here represented by R, R for repressible, makes this mRNA, and then RNA is uh, or it's transcribed into mRNA, and then it's translated into the protein. That protein is the tryptophan repressor. Now, if this system is normally on, will this repressor normally be bound? Well, no, right? Because a, a repressor would stop it or turn it off, but that's not normally what happens. Normally it's on. So this repressor is inactive by default, or normally inactive. So normally this operon just goes ahead and makes tryptophan. Now once, there, once the tryptophan is made, tryptophan can bind the repressor, and then the repressor can bind the operator. So it looks something like this. Now, when there's tryptophan available, it can bind the repressor, and then the repressor can go over, and once the tryptophan is bound, then the repressor protein can bind and then block tran transcription of these structural genes. So in this case, tryptophan acts as a co-repressor. It helps the repressor go, because the repressor is inactive by default. In order to activate it, tryptophan needs to be bound. So in this case, now we have the active tryptophan repressor when it has tryptophan bound. So in this case, the structural genes are not transcribed. So then tryptophan cannot be made. Does that make sense? Well, yeah, because tryptophan is clearly available. It's available here. You don't need to make more if you already have it. So Let's think about this here. So if we have, if there's tryptophan, if there's no tryptophan available, what happens? That means we want to make more or make some. So no tryptophan available, make some. So does that mean the operon will be on or off? Well, this, this operon is involved in making them, so it'll be on. So will the repressor be bound if the operon is supposed to be making some? Nope. It will not, because then if the repressor is there, then the transcription cannot occur. But what if tryptophan is available? Then you want to stop making tryptophan. And when you want to stop making tryptophan, would you want the operator to be on or off? You want it to be off. So will the repressor be bound? Yep, it will be bound. And it needs tryptophan to be a co-repressor. So essentially, the amount of tryptophan regulates the tryptophan production. If tryptophan is available, tryptophan stops the production of itself. If there's no tryptophan available, then the repressor is not bound and tryptophan can be made. So this process, the idea that tryptophan regulates its own production is called autoregulation. It regulates the amount of production of itself. So it's sort of like a, sort of like a negative feedback, right? The idea that if there's, if there's tryptophan around, we stop making it. If there's no tryptophan around, then we make it. That's pretty much the idea of the tryptophan operon. I hope that video was helpful in understanding it. One last thing, I am a tutor. If you live in Southern California, feel free to contact me via email at mufuniversity at gmail.com. See the description below for more details. Thank you for watching.